This is Roanoke City Council member Bill Vespich. As a retired social worker myself, I'm particularly interested in what we're doing to help the most vulnerable in our community during this unprecedented crisis. The City of Roanoke Department of Health and Human Services continues to assist our community during the COVID-19 pandemic. Staff is conducting many meetings virtually and they are continuing to distribute benefits. The Homeless Assistance Outreach Team is still operational and they are continuing to conduct field outreach to individuals staying outside. The HAT team is collaborating with Blue Ridge Behavioral Health Care and TAP to place unsheltered veterans and individuals with serious mental illness and or substance use disorders in hotels, allowing these high-risk populations to safely isolate. The Rescue Mission has made several changes to their processes during COVID-19. Those changes can be found online at rescuemission.net and on their social media. Two portal giants have been set up to allow individuals experiencing homelessness to have access to restroom facilities. They are placed in the parking lot adjacent to the HAT team building on Salem Avenue and on the south end of the main public library on Jefferson Street. Trust House is being transitioned into an isolation facility for individuals in our community experiencing homelessness who have tested positive for COVID-19 or who have a clinical diagnosis of COVID-19. The current Trust House residents have been moved into a hotel to free up the Trust House space to be used as an isolation facility. Emergency shelter grant funding will be used to pay for the hotel stays and meals of these Trust House clients. This is a fluid situation and the HAT team is working closely with our emergency manager and emergency management team throughout the pandemic. The remaining ESG funding will be spent after June 30 and will be used for homelessness prevention and rapid rehousing services for households impacted by the economic effects of the crisis or for additional emergency shelter or hotel vouchers for the most vulnerable as needed. Thank you very much for listening to what we're doing to help those who need our help during this crisis. Whatever you can do to help is most appreciated as well. Thank you.